to hate I work. What some people might call work. Get to lead a workshop. It's funny that I, I'm still putting SPF on every day. Because we don't go outside because of the fires and the COVID. And uh, I'm just done. I've got a mask on about this size. So <laughs> I could be saving on SPF. But it's a ha it's a good habit, so I'm not gonna let it go. Let's see. <laughs> see, this is a good test. Do I have any pronouncements today? I've had them every day of my life, but now that I'm taping them, I am reminded of a story I heard on a podcast. Probably was it Radio Lab, probably. Yeah, I think it was Radio Lab. I think it's Robert. Sapolsky, who wrote a primate's memoir, something like that. It's brilliant. As a young man, he goes to Africa to study baboons because they're the most like human sort of nervous systems. And so, why do humans? experience the stress we do, that kind of thing. So he observes this group of baboons where the king baboon has to constantly work at keeping his position. He has all the women, he's gotta be sure they're not messing around. He's got the young bucks, he's gotta be sure they're not messing around with the women. He's gotta find the food. Got a father, children, and so there. <laughs> so it is a carnival soap opera, and and very dramatic and stressful for everybody. Right? What went unseen is that what the group does together is find food. It's a local little resort hotel becomes pretty successful and they have a restaurant and they put the food that's you know not used that day into the dumpster and for the sake of his story oh, there's some infected meat there's a bovine tuberculosis. The cows have some kind of tuberculosis. And when the baboons eat, I think it was raw, some of the meat or the brains or whatever's, you know, in the dumpster, they contract this deadly, and you know, like within 24 hours, they're dead. Tuberculosis, I think. I think. So it decimates the tribe and the whole patriarchy, the hierarchy, the hierarchy of the oldest baboon or the biggest male baboon. He's the first to go because <laughs> in that society, the biggest, baddest dude eats first. So the females take over and it's a much calmer culture. They let, they don't kick, you know, adolescent youngins out oh, because they're threatening the boss. They welcome this, you know, lone baboons from other tribes that have been kicked out. Um, so it's much more of a mix, but he goes back years later to check on them. And we think, oh, it's gonna have reverted to the male dominant. Nope. They hardly even hang out together anymore. They just hang out at the food dump. 
They don't need each other. They just lie around and wait for the food to arrive. And one of the radio producers said, just like Americans, 